Aries, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be your reading for how your person feels about you. So there's no way this can apply to every single person out there. So just take what you can use and leave the rest. Thank you for all the support on the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. So thank you for the comments, the views, the subscribes, the shares. I appreciate it. So the oracle cards will still go here, which are for you, and then the cards over here, how your person feels about you, you could show up over here as well, as well as other people. So the first one for you is keeping it in check, eight. Pay attention to what is going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. So I do feel like there's something on the surface that you're missing. You're looking down below, and I feel like it's on the surface because this is where the light is. And the next one is 49, be insightful and established. Ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or the future. So this is the coral reef, and then it starts a foundation, and then other species can come add to that and grow and make it grow in abundance. So they're talking about pay attention to your environment, look what's going on, and make sure you let the right things come to your foundation and grow, which I feel like you are paying attention to that, Aries. So now let's see how your person feels. So, Ten of Cups. So, your person saw you as happiness. Total happiness. Ten of Cups. King of Wands. So, they also saw you as very attractive, very beautiful. The Emperor. So, they saw you as a boss. Like, being very good at saying what you mean. Being very good at being um, consistent with your life expectance the life roles that are expected of you, excuse me. So Queen of Swords is somebody who communicates very harshly. So they feel like you can be very harsh with your words if you get angry. So Six of Coins says that they feel like you're very deserving of a good life, of what life gives you, what people give you. And then the world. So they feel like you are beautiful like I feel like they want to marry you they feel like you're on top of your game at your religion or your spirituality I feel and then two of wands is making a decision so I feel like you're making a decision concerning everybody not just yourself and they trust that you're gonna make the best decision so ten of wands talks about you going somewhere else so they understand that if you get angry and you're not happy with what's going on that you will not have any qualms about taking your stuff and going somewhere else they know this about you so eight of cups wow so this is bad karma this is somebody feeling like so we have the good karma and the bad karma and the ten of cups so they they feel like when it comes to love you put good karma out there I really do I feel like they're almost scared to get bad karma, I feel like, from being around you. Because you do everything right, and they're so afraid. So, Queen of Coins. So, Queen of Coins is somebody very loving, somebody very stable. And then Four of Wands, clarifying the Two of Wands. So, this is marriage material, long-term long commitment, new beginnings. I do feel like... They they feel like they have bad karma and they can't have this with you is what I'm feeling, Aries. They feel like you have lived such a different life and they feel like, I almost feel like they feel like they have bad karma and they don't deserve all the good things that you have in your life. So Six of Wands is victory and success over negativity, over karma, over people who are against you. So they think... That if they married you, everything would be fine. I feel like you could override the bad karma for them. So the Wheel of Fortune. Victory and success. Happiness, wish fulfillment, dreams. Fate. Beautiful. So I'm switching to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. Green and purple, if that means anything to you. 
So then you have Ten of Earth. So Ten of Earth is somebody being generous to somebody, helping somebody. And then Ace of Sky. So Ace of Sky is honesty. So somebody's asking somebody to be honest. Just be honest. Speak the truth. And then Sky Tom. So this is somebody who is a player energy. So I don't know if you were married Aries and somebody cheated because I am feeling that somebody took advantage of your kindness, your generosity. You want honesty. And then Ten of C is going to where you traveling to where you feel like you're accepted being around people who accept you and then five of fire so five of fire is conflict so they see that there's going to be conflict if they be truthful to you so strength and balance so they see that you have strength and balance and that you can balance a lot of things out even if you come defensive you can still be calm and balance it out. So the priest clarifying the Tom. So I do feel like you have knowledge of somebody's untrustworthiness. You have an intuition about somebody's um, being fake to you is what I feel. Somebody's acting like they like you and they really don't. And you're aware of it. You have an indication about it. You're just looking for concrete evidence. So then you have Seven of Fire. So Seven of Fire says that your person feels like you, you're on the defense. You will defend yourself to other people. Or maybe they feel like they have to defend themselves to you or your friends. So then Fire Queen. So Fire Queen, they feel like you get mad. You have a temper. And then Five of Earth. Five of Earth is them feeling like you're stronger than them and you would end up with a house, so to speak, and they would have to drive by and see you in the house with other people and friends, and they'll be left out in the cold. So Nine of Earth talks about the big picture, and it's clarifying the priestess. Priest. So you know something about intuition and instinct within you. You know something, like keeping it a check is making me think and be insightful. There's something you know about the situation, Aries. So look at this. True love is the last one coming out. True love. Wow. Of that deck. So something to do with true love. So maybe they realized that you did love them, but they couldn't commit or something. So now I'm going to pull the Oracle of E for you. First one is three. Solar powered. Something is coming full circle that's going to make you feel strong. And got an Owie 29. So something that really hurt is going to heal. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to heal something. And you're going to be in your own power. So the next one is Rest 15. So it talks about resting. You, we, we become creative when we rest. We allow our cells to reproduce. So there's something for you. Got an Owie and then Rest. So I don't know if you got sick or you hurt yourself. And then self-acceptance nine. So this talks about accepting yourself. Accept that things happen to you for you to learn. They don't happen for you to break down and give up. They happen for you to grow and learn how strong you are. All right, so let's go with the angels and ancestors. And you have Oracle, wait for important information. So I do feel like something is coming to you where you're going to get information, the insightful and grounded, and then keeping it in check. Pay attention to what is going on around you. You might be moving too forward and missing important details. So you have two things talking about important information. Two cards that say that, Aries. And then Lord, take charge with authority. So this talks about being a little more aggressive than you may want to, but there are situations in life where you have to stand up and let people know that you have a certain desired outcome to a situation and you're not taking anything less than what you want or desire um, within the boundary of the laws, of course. I don't know why I said that, but I felt like I needed to. So I do feel like there's abundance coming to you. I feel like you are healing. We see the medical caduc is here and you have got an owie. So I don't know if a lot of you are healing from a situation. I do see you are very protected. Um, he has a caducus here. She has the bowl here. I do feel like a lot of good things coming to you. 
Yeah, beautiful. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much, Aries.